Good morning. How is everybody today? Hope you're having a great day. Let's start our lesson with prayer, okay? Father, thank you for your goodness in each one of our students. Thank you for the big person helping today. Give them a special blessing. Help the kids to do a good job today. Work really hard and help them to have a happy heart and a good spirit. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's go over our verses. Everybody stand up, please. First verse is on um, being a good leader. First Timothy 4.12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Letter T. Psalm 143.10. Teach me to do thy will. For thou art my God. You, Psalm, one, uh, Psalm 75, 1. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Thee, John 16, 23. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Okay, this month, our verse... This month, our verse is Proverbs 13, 4. We're talking about being self-reliant, lying, independent. Don't depend on other people to do things for you, right? Okay, here we go. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Now, I need you guys to, when you say your verses, some of you are calling in your verse. Now, this verse is a little bit harder, but that means you just have to work a little bit harder, right? Okay, let's say it nice and clearly, okay? If you don't say it clearly, it doesn't count. The soul of the slugger desireth. And hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Okay, this week's verse, for those of you who are in kindergarten here, you already know this one. Yay! And we have a song to go with this one, okay? Psalm 56, 3. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. You guys remember this one? Okay, two more times, please. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. One more time. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Okay, we have a song. See who remembers it. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid, God watches over me. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid, God watches over me. Okay, this month, our verse is the soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing. Okay, what does that mean? That means lazy people want, they want this, they want that, they want something else, but they don't get it. Why don't they get it? Because all they do is talk, 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 right? And the, they don't stop and use their brain to say, hmm, what can I get to fix what I don't like, right? Okay. We talked about self-reliance. We said, if there's something that you can do by yourself, you don't wait for somebody else to do it. You don't ask somebody to do it for you, right? No, you don't ask for, oh, can you do this for me? Oh, can you do that for me? No. If you don't like the way things are going, then what do you do? You use your brain and say, how can we change it, right? A lot of people just sit around whining. Now, if there's something you don't like, you know, unless you tell other people about it and say, I don't like this, can you help me fix it? See, people need to know there's a problem and that 
you have an idea or you want to fix it, there's a problem that you want to fix. And you're going to try and you would like their help to fix it. Maybe they have ideas or maybe they just have extra hands, okay? But if you're not going to do anything to fix it, nobody wants you to go, I don't like this. It's too hot. No, nobody cares about your problems, okay? That sounds sad, but nobody cares. That is how life is. So if you have something you don't like, you be the one to fix it, right? Mm -hmm. You say, hmm, what can I do to fix it? Now, our verse this week, I mean, our verb, the first part of the verse, what we talk about today, the first part, the soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing. Remember a few months back, we talked about being a hard worker. And we talked about being a sloth. Remember that, that animal that hangs in the tree, right? And he's too lazy to go do anything. And he only poops like every 10 days, right? Because he's too lazy to go down to the ground. You remember that? Okay. God said um, he didn't like those kind of people. And we talked about that before. Remember? Okay. Um, the book of Proverbs. And this is where this book this comes from. It's the book of wisdom. And it talks all about lazy people. And how they're so, they're like a door. Okay? They're like a door. You open the door, you close the door. You open the door, you close the door. But does the door do anything except open and close? It keeps things out that you don't want out, right? It keeps things in that you don't want in. But other than that, right? The book of Proverbs says some people are like that on their bed. All they do is turn, flip on this side. They don't do anything, right? The Bible, in the Bible, God uses the term for those kind of people. He talks about them. He calls them the sons of Belial. Ew. Belial is name, another name for the devil. So those people, God calls the children of the devil, lazy people. Oh, my. You know, sometimes you go down the street, there's just men sitting around. Now, sometimes they're like the bus drivers, and they're just waiting for their turn. And, you know, there's, you don't have to be working all the time. But there are some people that just sit and sit and talk and do nothing. Outside of Andre's um, grandpa's store, there are men that used to hang out there all the time. That's just what they said. Been there as long as I've been on the island. Even before the store was there, they used to sit under the tree. They even kept a toothbrush hanging from the tree. Nasty. God calls them sons of Belial, lazy. Lazy and the sons of the devil. Why? Because they just sit there and don't do anything useful. <laughs> now, they talk about all oh, this. They talk about that. Sometimes they don't talk about anything. They just sit there. Oh, and they gossip. And they talk about, oh, what they can do. Oh, I, I did this and I did that. We don't know whether they actually did it or not. But they don't get anything done. They just work enough to get enough money to get their cigarettes, their tatascan, and a little bit of food. And then they go ask people for stuff. Mm -mm. Now, when I was your age, there was a saying that adults used a lot. It was this, idle hands, hands that aren't busy, are the devil's workshop. What does that mean? That means when you're sitting around with nothing to do, your imagination starts working and you think of all sorts of ways to get yourself in trouble. Oh, I wonder about this. And those kind of kids, oh my goodness. Okay, what happens? They're sitting doing nothing. They think, oh, let's try this. And the kids burn the house down. Or the kids do, so they break things. I wonder what this looks like. And they break them. People gossip. Oh my goodness, some people in Flowers Bay here. Oh my goodness, they gossip, 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 gossip. So that, or, or they'll think they're sitting there and they want to show everybody how great they are, how smart they are, how strong they are, how whatever they think they are. And then they do something foolish 
and it causes problems. Somebody gets hurt, something gets broken, somebody's feelings get hurt, right? But those same people are angry at other people because other people have things, and it's not fair that that person has that, and I don't. That's not fair. Why should they have that? Well, maybe that other person works really hard. It's kind of like our school. Um, in our, at Broca Solida, we have a school, like schools in the United States, that parents have to, private schools, privado, escuela privada in the United States. That's what our school is like. And parents say, oh, yes, I want, now the public schools in the United States are not good. They're, they're, the, the public schools in the United States are kind of like the private schools here. They're not real good. And so parents work very hard so that they can send their children to private schools so that they can get a good education. Or a lot of parents teach their children at home. They don't go out and work at another job. They stay home to help their children learn to be their child's teacher. Those parents work very hard, and then they make sure their children do their schoolwork every day. And when the children come home, the children are at school all day long, not like you that only go a little bit, all day long, and then they have to come home and do homework at home. They must work very hard, but they get a very good education. But what happens is people here on Welcome want that education for their children. But they don't want their children to have to work hard. They don't have to, want their children to have to spend four or five hours doing schoolwork every day. No. And I don't want to sit there with my child to make him do it. I want my child to like me. And so they tell their child, oh, that's okay. You know, the child gives the paper, the work, and it's ugly. It's messy. It's not done right. The child did, did not watch the videos, doesn't know the lessons. Some of you are like that, right? And so what happens? The children don't learn the lessons. And then the mommies bring the work in. And what happens? The mommies tell the children the answers to put on their papers. And sometimes the mommies do the work themselves. Mm -hmm. Lie, mentira, mentira, mentira. And then when it's time for exams, the mommies tell the children the answers. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Then the mommies bring the papers to Miss Susan. Oh, here's my little, my little boy, my little girl's paper. And 100, 100, 100. But it's a mentita. The child did not learn the lessons. So Miss Susan says, send me a video. And what happens? The parents, mm -mm, they tell the child what to say on the video. They hold up a little sign. Here's your verse. Read it. Mm -hmm. Happens. Do the children learn the lessons? And then comes the time when Miss Susan has to give a test to see if children are ready for second grade. And what's going to happen to a lot of those children? They're not going to be able to read like they're supposed to. They're not going to be able to do dictado like they're supposed to. Why? Because every day when they were supposed to be practicing their dictado with Miss Susan on the video, no, they were just copying the words. They were copying the words off the board that Miss Susan writes on the board. They just copied them on their paper. Uh -huh. And when there's time for the exam on Friday, Miss Susan doesn't write it on the board, but their mommies tell them what to write on the paper. but they didn't learn how to do it themselves. And so it's going to come time for second grade. And is the child going to be ready? And Miss Susan has to say, I'm sorry, but you didn't do your lessons all year long. You can't go to second grade. Well, that's not fair. It's not fair because I have to work in the parents. See, the parents want something that they have in the United States. The parents in the United States that have children that go to those schools, those parents work very, very hard. And some parents at Rocasolida are working 
very, very, very hard. And some of you children in my in, in first grade are working very, very hard. And some children in kinder are working very, very hard. And I am so happy. Ah, uh, but what happens when people don't get what they want? They get angry. God calls them sons of Belial, children of the devil. Mm -hmm. You're your father, the devil, and the works of your father you would do. He was a liar from the beginning, and so are you. Those parents that don't want to put in that hard work, Every day, every day, every day. They don't, oh, it's not important if my child doesn't do his lessons every day. And then they cheat and they lie to Miss Susan. Mm -hmm. Miss, God calls those people sons of Belial, children of the devil. And God does not like that. And you know what? Miss Susan doesn't either. See, parents think, oh, Miss Susan doesn't know. Yes, yeah, she does. And even if she doesn't know, God does. And you might cheat now, but you can't cheat your way through life, and eventually you are going to get caught. So what do you, the soul of the slugger desires and have nothing. Miss Susan does not have a special wand. Boom, like a little fairy godmother. Yeah, and little fairy dust. Oh, you learn. You're wise. You have. You can learn to read and do dictado and do math. Boom. She doesn't have this little stick. No, it's hard work. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Those kids that work hard, those mummies that work hard, like the ones in the United States, those are going to succeed. Okay? Don't go crying if you don't have what you want if you are not willing to work hard to get it. Our verse this week is what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Okay? When we're scared, what do we do? We ask God to help us. Mm -hmm. And we just trust in that he's going to help. But he's not going to help you if you're not doing what's right. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to fail my exam. Well, did you study? If you didn't study and work hard, it's not God's fault, not Miss Susan's fault. It's yours. And you do. Yeah, you can be afraid, right? Yeah, you should be afraid because you're going to get caught. Mm -hmm. But if you've been studying and you work hard every day, don't worry about it. God will help you. Let's hear verse three times. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. One more time. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Let's sing the song. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid, God watches over me. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid, God watches over me. And you don't have to be afraid either if you are doing right and God is your father.